So I'm doing a digital marketing internship and one day my boss gave me a very urgent task where I had to find 300 short stories and this is not it. He also gave me five crazy conditions. So the first condition was that I cannot copy paste these stories from any random website because there is a thing known as plagiarism check which is a way of verifying that you are not stealing some other writer's content. Second condition was that I have to censor all the bad words from the story so if there any instance of you know a bad f word or these kind of word i have to remove those third condition was that he wanted these stories as google doc files which means that i had to create 300 different google doc files and then get their share links fourth condition was that all these doc files title must be same as the story title and the last condition was that i had to do all of this in just half an hour so after listening all these conditions my first reaction for my boss was fuck you fuck you but then i realized that my boss was aware how hard this is so he was not asking like do it he was asking like can you do it so he was very you know tensed and because we had the deadline so so i think about this a little and then i got a really good idea where i did some terminal magic to save the day and i think you guys should see this and understand how you can apply your knowledge in some real life practical situation so my first issue was that from where I'm going to download all these non-copyrighted short stories and then I realized that I can use Reddit because there are a lot of subreddits available where people write some short stories. So this is r slash short stories, this is r slash sad stories and this is I guess r slash shorty stories and I can use this subreddits and just you know steal the stories from here because the stories you are looking here are non-copyrighted so I can you know just click on this top and this way I'm going to get all time best stories and I can change this slash to dot json so this is a pretty cool trick on reddit if you type dot json in the end of any url you're going to get the json output instead of you know simple web page so here I'm getting all the posts which I was looking but in the json format and I can also add end limit is equal to 100 so i need 300 stories but i am setting limit 100 because reddit have maximum limit of 100 and that's why i also you know uh, have these subreddits open because i can download the other 100 from this and the rest from this so 100 100 100 is equal to 300 so this way i can get 300 short stories and if you look at the post data here so here you can see the self text and this is the story text so this is what i need and i also want this title so here i'm using curl command and i'm putting this header user is into your board 1.0 which basically tell red that i'm not the bot and i'm using it to just download my uh, json output also i'm using this jq program i'm piping the output into jq which is just formatting my unformatted json output and i'm just redirecting the output into this story.json so if i press enter i will get a file story.json and let me just show you this file so this is the data which i want this is all the json which we were looking in the browser so the next thing i did is i used some of my python knowledge and i write this magic.py script and what this script is doing it's going to print the title from the json file and it's going to print the story text which is self text also before title it's also going to print a hashtag so we will know that this is the title and not the story text so it's just looping from all the data children so if you see here this is the data and then the children okay so it's just looping through all the posts so if i run this script uh, let me just run python magic.py so here's the story text and this is the title now since it's hard to see all of this like this let me just show you a dummy.txt which i created so i'm getting my stories in this format this is the title this is some story text this is the title this is the story text so now let me just pipe my output from magic.py to s1.txt and this way i get this s1.txt where i have all my story text and the titles so i did the same thing for other two subreddits so i have 
this s2.txt and s3.txt so this way i completed you know getting my story part and i have 300 short stories but uh, we still have to do a lot of things here so without any wasting time let's just continue the first thing i want to do is i just want to merge all these txt file and create one single file which contain all 300 stories so many people don't know that you can use cat command to concatenate the file this is the actual work of cat command people think cat is just to print the file so i can use cat to just you know uh, merge all these text file and create one single file so let me just uh, redirect the output and create one story.txt file and this story.txt file you know contain 300 stories so this way i'm getting you know all my stories into one single file and now i can just delete this um s1 s2 or s3 files so now we can use some terminal magic to do some sanitization so if i look into my story.txt and just you know scroll up a little so here in the title we are looking the category of the story so this is the fiction story and i don't like this i want to remove this also we are getting some links here and i don't want these links so what i can do is i can just use simple regex with set command and i can remove this so here i have this regex which i can use to just remove anything between these square brackets so if i press enter and uh, just scroll up so here i'm not getting any you know story format genre or anything like this so this is just you know temporary but if i add this minus i here so this is going to do changes in my file so if i press enter oh it's giving me a i think minus i should be in you know front so yeah it's done All right, so if you guys remember the second condition, I have to remove all the bad words from this story.txt. So I have this file bad words.txt and if I, you know, get this, so these are all the bad words which I want to remove from this, you know, story.txt. So first let's see that if my story.txt contain any bad words. So as you can see, it does contain a lot of bad words. So I need to remove all of this. So what I can do is I can just first loop through the bad words.txt. So let me just write this while loop. So I'm just at first I'm just going to you know print uh, this bad words.txt. So what this loop is going to do is it's going to read every line and it's just going to print that you know particular line. So if I press enter, so here's the all the bad words. And now what I can do is instead of printing I can use set command inside this loop so minus i to do changes permanently on the file and i can use this uh, s for you know replacing thing so i want to replace this word from asterisk 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 and uh, i want to do this globally and i'm also going to put this i because this is going to ignore the case so if i press enter now oh no input file so let me just provide an input file which is my story.txt so if i press enter now it's going to take some time it's looping through all the words and it's looking for that word in my story.txt and it's replacing that word from for restrict so now if i open my um, story.txt and search for you know f word so i'm not getting any instance but i'm getting some asterisk here so after removing all the bad words from my story.txt, I still have one issue that is that all my stories are in this one story.txt file. And I don't want this because in the end I have to provide 300 different Google Doc file. So I need to, you know, split all my stories into different, different files. And to do this, I can use awk. So if you, you know, use minus V flag in awk, you can set any variable before writing your program. So I said this n is equal to 100 and now I can just write a program. So what I want to do is I want to look for hashtags in the beginning of the line because if you remember all our title contain you know hashtag in the beginning so every time awk find you know the title it's just going to increment this n and after this i can just print my text okay so basically awk is going to print every time it found some title in the file so instead of printing what i can do is i can redirect the output and create some file so n 
n stands for that uh, the variable 100 and in the end i just want to add this dot md extension and if you guys remember md is for markdown so let me write the file name and if i press enter now and do ls so here are all my files and if i open one file so um, 101.md so this is just one story let me just show you till the end so here this is only one story and and like this file all these files contain only one story so i have 300 different files here in my folder and let me just create another folder files and put all the md files inside this files folder okay so let me go to this files and what now i want to do is that all these files are the md file which means the markdown file but i want um, my files to be in google doc format so it means basically our doc format which is you know i can just convert it into any doc format so to do this what i can do is i can run this for loop in every md file and i can use pendoc which is a very popular program it is a universal text file converter so not text file it's just you know convert formats of files so you can just convert any file format to any other file format so i need to convert you know these files into doc file so i set it this minus o flag which is for output and let me just provide my input which is the file name let me just change this doc to docx okay so i think docx is better because some people are also going to open this with microsoft i think doc file is uh, let's just leave this and just run this program so it's going to take uh something about 20 to 30 seconds to finish so it's just converting my dot md files into doc file so here my program is finished and if i do ls so here you can see all the docx file with the md file so now i don't need any md file so i can remove the md files and i'm left with only the docx file so if i run file command on you know one file you can see this is the microsoft word 2007 plus like this is the format of the file now there is one more condition that i need to you know change these file names into the file name of the title so now to do this first i need all the titles so to get titles i, I can again use this story.txt file so i can use grab uh, with minus e flag for regular expression and i can grab any hashtag line so here's the story.txt so these are all the titles of the story and it's not in a very good format so i need to remove all these you know brackets i forget to remove this while making the tutorial but i removed all these you know brackets and other garbage uh, by when i was doing it in real so the so first thing i can do is i can just you know redirect this into titles.txt and i need to you know sanitize my output so to sanitize this what i can do is i can use a set command so now by using this set command i can remove anything which doesn't belong into this you know character set so if i press enter it's just going to remove all the special character also i am looking at a lot of white spaces here to remove these white spaces what i can do i can use awk program so here's the quick little awk program and it's just going to remove all the white spaces so i use this a lot so now you can see it's removing all the you know white spaces from forward and backward so let me just quickly redirect my output into some another title.txt and let me print this title.txt it contains some spaces and i don't want all these spaces so i can use this set program to just replace spaces with hyphen so as you can see it, says it is working pretty correctly i can add this minus i flag remove this titles.txt and replace the title.txt with title.txt now i have this title.txt which contain all my titles now the next thing which i did is i wrote this very simple rename.sh shell script so let me show you it's actually bash script and i'm setting this i variable here 101 which is the name of first file and i'm reading titles from this title.txt iterating through all the lines of this title.txt and i'm renaming this i which is the you know this variable dot md dot docs and converting the name from this to this title dot md i think 
this should be doc x not md okay so in the end i'm just incrementing the i variable so if i run this rename.sh before this let me just show you this uh, files folder so let me just run this rename.sh and press enter so if i just show you this files folder so as you can see all my file names has changed these are the docx file and this is exactly what i want now i uploaded this files folder into my google drive so as you can see i uploaded this so if i open this so these are all the doc files which i want and which i need to you know give to you know my upper level boss or something like that so let me just show you in the list view and if i open some story so of course there are a lot of sanitization is still we have to do so as you can see this is the talk file and if you guys remember we had our files in md and all the titles contain hashtag in the beginning so that's why what pendoc did is it uh, converted the titles into the heading so this is why we are getting this blue font and you know bold text so so i can just create this you know folder shareable and then get the share link of all these files if you don't know you can just you know uh let me just first make it share. okay so if you don't know you can just press ctrl a and this will select all the files and you can just right click and get click on the share and this way you can get share links of all the files at once so you can just copy this link so this is how i provided all the 300 stories in just 25 minutes of course we had to do some sanitization uh, further uh, but you know basically it just worked out and we saved the day i was five and he was six we rode on horses made of sticks he wore black and i wore white he would always win the fight bang bang he shot me down bang bang i hit the ground bang bang that awful sound bang bang my baby shot me down